you just begin with telling us the problem that you were having throughout your childhood and to the place of your healing? Um, I was diagnosed with arthritis in my spine at the age of 16. And um, I w used to play sports, used to dance and everything. And um, once we found it, they made me stop going to PE, stop dancing. I couldn't play sports anymore. Basically, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> So at 16, you were doing all of these extracurricular activities, and all of a sudden, how did they find it? Was it uh, something happened to you? I had gotten into a car accident, and um, I couldn't move after. I couldn't walk. Um, my dad took me to the hospital, and they did like a full MRI, and they, they found it in there. And can you tell us that after they found it and they told you to cancel all of those activities, you couldn't be in PE, you couldn't do dance, you couldn't do any sports, not only was that probably impacting you as a person, but how with your everyday living, what else, how was that affecting you? Even just getting out of bed in the morning was hard. Um, I couldn't do laundry. I couldn't lift anything. Um, I did, I went to a bunch of ther physical therapy. I did chiropractic. I did tissue muscle injections. I did high cortisone shots. I've done everything. <laughs> And can you tell us how old are you now? I'm 24 now. So for that many years till the age of 24, you were doing these things? Yeah. Every month I would get um, injections from my tailbone all the way up to the top of my skull. Well, yeah, get Botox because um, I would get migraines from the pain and the top disc of my spine was puncturing the back of my brain. Wow. And so you're saying that you were living on a daily basis of pain in your body. Yes. Now tell us, what happened when you came to a service and go from there? I came to a Sunday service. It was a healing service. Um, a bunch of people came around me and started praying. And at first I was like, okay, I feel like a tingle, like heat in my spine. And I was like, um. <laughs> and then they were like, we'll try to test it out. And every time I bent over, like I could feel my back popping. So um, I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. And I was like, I told my friend, I was like, um, something happened. I was like, cause I don't feel that. I don't feel that pain. And then she's like, well, keep trying. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so I bent over and I was like, oh, let me open my per And the same thing, I didn't feel nothing. Wow. And it's been a month already. Come on. So you're saying that for a whole month, you haven't felt any pain whatsoever? Nope. I've been going to batting cages. I've been working out now. <laughs> I'm like trying to test everything just to make sure. I'm like, oh, no, it's still there. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. Wow. Going from that, from every day, situation to now full on healing where she can go back to just the smallest things of even just uh, going to the gym and all of those things. She's able to do that with no pain. This is huge. Amen. So Selena, can you tell the ones that are watching on live stream or those that are here today and maybe they're struggling with a sickness or someone they know that is struggling with a sickness, what would you offer them with advice? Just keep praying. Just keep seeking God and it, he will come through. Come on. Amen. <laughs>